Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chip and today we are testing out a new makeup item that I showed you guys in my Sephora haul. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I will link it up below and in the description box. But today we are trying out the Huda Beauty Nymph not your mama's pantyhose body highlighter and I got mine in the shade Aurora and also we're trying out the what is this body blur and glow brush now this did release with the highlighters but it's not in a set you have to buy them separately so yeah so I picked up both of them and I just wanted to give them a try and see if this will be included in my summer bronzy looks so if you're interested to see how this came out and my thoughts then stay tuned and let's get into this video Start. I'm super excited and I'm going to start by priming my face. So I'm using the Farasali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. And I use this every single time as my first step before applying any type of foundation onto my skin. <laughs> so let's go ahead and rub that in. All right, so my face is primed and I am ready to apply the Huda Beauty Body Highlighter. So again, this is called her Nymph Body Highlighter and Nymph stands for Not Your Mama's Pantyhose. And I have mine in the shade Aurora. I love the packaging on here. It is in a glass bottle and you do get a pump. And yeah, this the shade Aurora just looks very bronzy, very summer, very um, aesthetically pleasing for a darker skin tone. So I am super excited to give this a try. I have been seeing this on Instagram and I see a lot of people just applying it straight to their face without mixing it in or anything. But you can mix this in with your foundation if that's how you prefer to apply it. I'm going to apply it the way that I've seen it been applied. So I will just apply this directly onto my face and then we'll apply my foundation and concealer and blush and whatnot over it. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited and let's go ahead and give this a try. I also got the brush that came with it and so yeah, excited. So it does say to shake this well. Let's apply because I'm so Super excited. <laughs> okay, so I've seen people like just apply it directly onto the brush. Ooh. Oh my gosh, like that. That is pretty cool. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the brush. Super gorgeous. All right. I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> Let's give, ooh. Okay. Okay. Did I apply too much? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'll just keep applying. Oh my goodness. I feel like I applied way too much. Oh no. No. <laughs> Too much. Or maybe just enough? I don't know. I don't know. We're just, we're going with the flow. We are going with the flow. Okay. Wow, I am uber, uber bronzy. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like just sitting on my face and yeah, wow. Definitely bronzed, definitely glistening. I'm going in with my Tarte Face Tape Foundation and I'm in the shade Rich Sand. And we're just gonna apply this and see. Okay, so the foundation applied fine. I didn't have any issues blending it out. Um, I do feel like my face right now is very illuminating. It's glowing. It's got that natural like light glisten going on. So yeah, 
I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Um, so let me go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've applied the rest of my face along with lashes, liner, mascara, lip, all that jazz. And I'll leave everything that I use on my face down in the description box if you're interested. But let's keep going. So the last thing I want to do is apply more of this Huda Aurora highlighter to like my decollete <laughs> area and my shoulders so we can see what it looks like on my skin. So again, I'll be using the Huda brush that came with it and just doing a few drops on the brush. Let's see, one shoulder first, I guess. <laughs> and let's just apply this. Okay. Well, I see my first mistake was putting it over my tattoo, but we will see how it looks. And also not moving fast enough. Okay, move quicker. Move quicker, Chip, move quicker. Huh, okay, so it's not blending. And I don't know if it's because it just dries really quick, but it's not blending out that well. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, did I put too much? I don't know. I feel like I put too much. But we'll just keep going. We will just keep going. And I probably shouldn't have put it over my tattoo. I'm starting to realize that now. But it's okay. Well, I feel like if I didn't put it over my tattoo, then it would just be like a weird spot that doesn't have any highlight. Ooh. Okay. So, word to the wise, move very quickly with this product. Um, so, it's like I placed it and then it dried before I could blend it out. So, I have like weird splotches on my chest. So, yeah, when you put it on blend it where you place it and then if you want to keep spreading just add more but like I would have put some on here and then just been like <laughs> um blending it out because yeah if you move to a different area before you fully blend it out then it dries down really quickly okay so here is a comparison let me move this down so here's a comparison so this side has the body highlight Ooh, that is nice, and this side does not. This shoulder doesn't, but this does. Okay, so let's add some to the other shoulder, and I'm going to add about a drop, and I wanna place it and blend it and see if that works better. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That works a, a ton better, okay. That is so, so much better. Oh, that blends out like a dream. Okay, so that's the trick to this product. Once you place it, you have to blend it out like immediately. I wouldn't like do dots and then go back and blend because the dots would have dried before you even get there. <laughs> and then you spend 30 minutes trying to blend it out like I did. Okay, so yeah, so definitely place, blend very quickly. So like circular motions, blend it all in and it definitely melts into the skin. Like, oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. That is stunning. I, I am here for it. Like, oh my gosh. Is that just like, is this overhyped or is it just me? But I, I am loving this. Like the light is just hitting all the areas just right. Just right. Okay, so definitely I would do this if I was wearing like a strapless top, um, maybe a strapless dress or an off the shoulder top or dress, only because your straps have to go back on top of this product. So that kind of means that the makeup will transfer onto here and this doesn't say that it's transfer proof. So again, if you are going to wear any of these products and you're going to like hug someone, just be aware that you have some product like on your chest. Um, so that could, I just can't stop like looking like at my clavicle and like, oh, looks good. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, um, just be aware if you are going to hug someone or get very like close with your clothing that this will transfer and yeah, so just 
be mindful. <laughs> be mindful of that. But this is stunning. I am loving the way that it's just like catching onto the light. Let me put my hair back a bit. So yeah, that is super nice. Super, super nice. Okay, so let me put my straps back on. <laughs> Let's see here. So it's definitely going to catch onto my bra strap, which is fine. It's fine. I can just wash it off. But okay, so this is what it looks like with my straps back on. Still, I feel like you could still, if you're okay with this transferring onto your clothing, I feel like you can wear straps if you want. But I think I would definitely just do something off the shoulder um, just to really show it all off <laughs> but also just to prevent any further like a transferring but I really 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 like this like this this is nice okay so let me zoom out and we will do our final thoughts <laughs> okay so I applied the Huda Beauty Nymph Aurora body highlighter Highlighter, <laughs> highlighter. So let's talk about this product. So first, the packaging is so appealing, so nice. I love that you can see the color of the body highlighter. Hella body highlighter inside the packaging and I love that it's a pump as well so that is really easy to use so I give packaging a 10 out of 10 on this and the brush that it came with is super soft you guys saw me um on or on haul you guys <laughs> saw me haul this in my latest Sephora haul and yeah I just I love the brush I love the rose gold handling the bristles are super soft it is dense so it is able to move around the product. So for the brush itself, um, I would I'd give it an eight out of 10. Like I'm not like, wow, this is like the newest thing, but it does a really good job with the product so, itself. Talking about the actual highlighter, um, I applied it um, on my face and I think I put too much initially, but also I wasn't, I guess, user error. Um, I wasn't aware of how quickly it dries. So I really, 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 really recommend that you work in sections and you work fast. This stuff dries down so fast. And when it dries down, it stays like it doesn't budge. And you really, really have to get in there to try to move it around. So I think next time I will definitely uh, just do one cheek, one cheek, forehead, and move on with my day. Um, I do think that it did if it wasn't dry, it did blend out really nicely. Um, on my face, I was a little scared in the beginning because it just looked like my face was like orange and red and glittery and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how am I gonna make this work? But once you apply your foundation, it just, it meshed in. It it was really nice. It was kind of like just using a um, highlighting or illuminating primer. It just, it's really nice. I really like the way my skin is glowing right now. And so I really think this is just like a summer essential to get that like sun-kissed bronzy look. This amazing. Um, so yeah, so my foundation sat right on top and my foundation blended out just fine like it always does. My concealer blended out fine. I was able to layer on my blush. Um, I actually added this as a liquid highlighter just on the tops of my cheeks and I was able to set my face with my Laura uh, Mercier translucent setting powder. So my daily routine as far as applying makeup didn't change. It wasn't altered. Everything went just fine. Um, so as far as my chest area, like I am loving the way that this is just making like my skin nice and glowy. And honestly, I feel like once the sun hits me, because right now it's just my lighting, but once the sun hits me, I think this would just like amplify even more. Um, so I did also make that mistake in my chest area by just like dotting it and then trying to blend it out. So I did spend a lot of time I'm trying to blend out the splotchy areas, but that was just my fault. I put it on and I let it dry. But again, this does dry super fast. So again, I recommend once you put it on the brush or even like any type of dense brush that you have um, that you're comfortable working with, place it, blend it out immediately, and then move on to another area. So that's what I did with this shoulder. I placed it and started blending it in immediately and it just blended in and meshed so well with my skin tone and I think that's why I really like this product is because it looks like my natural skin just has this luminosity to it like it's just it doesn't look like oh I'm wearing 
a body highlighter. Like, this looks so natural, which I am in love. Um, I did place it over my tattoo, so you can definitely tell that my tattoo is a little bit more faded, um, which, honestly, I'm fine with. Like, I'm not, like super concerned about it. I don't recommend that you put this over like a fresh tattoo or a tattoo that is healing or in the healing process. I would definitely, so if you have like a lot of chest tattoos or if they're new, definitely wait um, till your tattoos are completely healed because this does sink into the pores really nicely as far as like blending, but I would, ooh, I would not recommend this sinking into like a fresh healing tattoo. So wait, <laughs> wait on this until your tattoo heals. And in regards to the brush, um, for my chest area and my shoulders. The curvature of the brush really worked well with just like spreading it all over um, any type of curves in my body. So I think it, uh, so I think it was designed really nicely to just kind of curve and shape with your body and to really just blend it in. Um, so I, I really like that. I really didn't notice like, I didn't think I would notice anything like different with this brush, but I did notice that it just, it works really well with the curves of my chest, of my shoulders, of my face. Um, it just kind of like sat and hugged every curvature, which was really nice. Now, do I think that you need the brush with the highlighter? No, you probably have a brush that would work just as fine. Um, but I just wanted to try out, because these are sold separately, um, but I just wanted to try them out together and see what I thought. So, yes. They worked, um, and my thoughts on just my body, I, I love it. I love, I love the glow, I love the luminosity, I love that it's just, it makes me want to wear more like straps and like strapless things, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, and yeah, I am, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I am here for it. Overall, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. The only, re I'm taking two points off because it dries extremely fast. So that for me, for a, a, a beginner, I was just like, oh, <laughs> that's dried. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.